Hello there. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. You're welcome to today's edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. Guess what? You can only get it right here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Doreen Avi, and guess what again? Yes, Joe Metal is in the news. You know he's been nominated for the Artist of the Year category. Yes, the only gospel artist. We have something from Kwao Kesi. You know, today marks exactly three years since Fennec Autry passed away. I have all that updates right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. The name again is Doreen Avio. Do stay with me. Let's talk entertainment if you just join me. And yes, Joe Metal is in the news. If you did not know, he's been nominated for the Artist of the Year category alongside rapper Sarkodie, Medical, Miss V, um, um, EL. Yeah, the list is just endless. But he's the only gospel artist in there. Last week, Miss V, who has been criticized heavily, said that she thinks she deserves to be in the Artist of the Year category. But Joe Metal believes or he is hopeful of winning the Artist of the Year at this, this year's Ghana Music Awards. Your recent nominations at the PGMEs? I am. Um, I always feel honored and blessed whenever you are nominated or in any category. I mean, I always say that the nomination itself is enough. Um, is not enough. And, um, point that maybe, you know, your, whatever you're doing, your work is recognized. So the fact that you're even nominated means you are recognized and whatever you're doing is touching life. And that's it for me. And so the nominations alone is, is big. Yeah. And, and of course, you're hoping that you would, you know, grab that award when it comes. Ah, uh, yeah. Why, why would you hope to grab but, but You know, the gospel artist of the year, yeah, everybody... Yeah, my supporting artist. the artist of the year even Sonny Bird had to come out um, you know to you know support you are calling for support so that people will, will make you win the artist of the year why would we want to go far okay the, no no we're not going far I mean normally what happens is um, you realize that most of the time I would say the circle of guys like they they campaign for it we don't like we don't we don't do it at all I mean I'll tell you for a fact that most of the time the only thing I've done is just put up maybe a, a design that I, I get sent by the organizers of the award that people should vote. That's it. I wouldn't do anything extra. Okay, so we're Christians, and sometimes it, it might be interpreted as being materialistic okay, most of the time, uh, you know. Um, but I think... It all depends on the motive why you do what you do. If it's to gain fame or it's to gain, um, what's the word, like you just want recognition. I mean, you have the recognition, what else do you want? But it's an, there's, a, there's, a, there's an industry part of what you do, and so it's important. That's why sometimes it's important, especially when you know you've worked hard within the year of, of review and, and you deserve it. Maybe everybody else on the academy or the board and everything would say, okay, comparing the work you did within that year, you deserve it more than anybody else. But if your vote does not match that, because sometimes the people that follow you and would have loved to vote for you did not get to hear of it because you did not promote it. And you get the point. And so that's why sometimes it's necessary to promote it so that people hear of it and say, okay, looking at you know your work and everything, they feel that that year you did a lot of things. And so um, they would vote. And by the time all the other points that are considered comes to play, they would realize that, you know, you, you, you would emerge the winner. Um, Ochiame Kwame recently made a comment about, you know, not he, he doesn't want to go to heaven. He just wants paradise on earth because he wants to be able to do the things that he does on earth and all. He doesn't want any spirit or anything because heaven is all about angels praising God and blah, blah, blah. What do you make of his comments? Um, what do I make of the comment? It, it's, it's an experience. I mean, sometimes you can't push people and tell people what to do, especially when they have a particular belief. Um, but you see, life 
teaches us certain things and um, that's what he may want now but you would have to give him time you guys will have to be patient with him things happen over time and you'd realize that you would want more than being on earth you see the point is the Bible says it will pass the earth will pass away so if you say that it's only on earth that you want to be and enjoy paradise what if there's no paradise and earth is over where would you go I, I think oh, Chami Kwame's problem is he doesn't want to um, be a spirit. You know, when you die, it, it's the spirit that is going to meet God. So I've heard. And he doesn't... Soul. soul. Okay. And he doesn't want to be the soul. He wants the flesh but so the that he flesh, can, when he can do all the things that he's been doing on earth when? in paradise. Oh, no, no, it doesn't work. But he's dead. He'll be buried. <laughs> So you, your body will be carried to paradise. You are dead. When you die, you'll be buried. So when you are buried, where would the body go to paradise? It's still that same spirit or that same soul. And so, so it ends here. The body ends here. You know, the body ends here. So one, once you're gone, you end here. So you need to think about where else you're going. You know. That was Joe Metal on being hopeful of winning the Artist of the Year at this year's Ghana Music Awards. But of course, moving on, you know, today marks exactly three years since uh, Fennec Autry, who happens to be the late manager of rapper Kwao Kese, was murdered in his home. And you know, since then, all we hear is investigations are ongoing and, well, we never seem to hear anything. Well, today, on Daybreak Hits, KMJ spoke to Kwao Kese and... He was a bit bitter. He said he's disappointed in Zoom Lion for not following up on the, I mean, the whole issue. And of course, he also has a message for the media. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a, um, you know, like a silent moment, you know, for myself to reminisce the good times I spent with Fennec. I'm not going to host any, or any celebration. I'm not going to do any party or anything. You know, I'll be in a sad mood there. And, um, you know, God, God, is, God is the greatest. And um, I know God will, will give us back what we've lost. Now, have you spoken to any family member yet? Not yet. You know, I, I, when, anytime I wake up, like when it's a weekday, I'm always busy. I'm going to contact the family later in the day and, and see what they are also doing. was rapper Kwao Kese right there not being happy about the fact that things are not going well when it comes to investigations concerning his late manager Fennec Autry and we hope that well after today we'll hear some updates on that but moving on to some international stories Johnny Sledge of Sister Sledge fame has passed away and here's a report put together concerning the whole group That is Joni Sledge in pink, singing the classic, We Are Family. Well, sadly, she passed away at her Phoenix home on Friday. Her publicist told CNN and confirmed the information. She is, of course, the founding member of the vocal group Sister Sledge. The group became famous in 1979 with that hit song. Joni and Sister Debbie Kim and Kathy all made up Sister Sledge, although Kathy left the group in 1989. Now, there's no word on how Joni died, though her rep has said her family was shocked because she had not been ill. She was 60 years old. It's a wrap on today's edition of Let's Talk Entertainment, and my name is Doreen Avio. But of course, if you missed out on all the trending entertainment stories, you can always log on to myjoonline.com, the entertainment page, and you can also interact with me on Twitter at Doreen Avio, and on Instagram is Doreen underscore Avio. And of course, big up to my producers, Ike and Becky, for production. And... Have a lovely evening. Mm -hmm.